Alright guys, welcome back to my next video. Alright, so there's a SteamOS preview version update. This is 3.7.3. And as I said before, this is a preview version. So this is for all the people that already install SteamOS on their Rogue Ally or the Legion Go. So if you got the preview version installed, then there's an update for that, right? If you still haven't installed SteamOS in your system yet and want to learn how to do it, the video should be in the, the description box down below. And here we'll show you how to install SteamOS, right? So this is just an update to that version of SteamOS. So with this update, it brings um, control support. So you don't have to do all the finicking I was doing in the, my old video, which you got to do the coding just to have the controller and everything working, right? So you don't got to do that now. With this update, you just go to update, you just go to your system, and I'll show you to do that, and you could get it up and running, right? It also brings support for uh, sleep wake. So if you click the power button, you put it to sleep, and then you can resume once you press the button and get right back into the game. This preview update still doesn't bring TDP control, but as I said, you could still use Deki right here. You can still use this to control your TDP, right? In my old video, that I posted a couple days ago, it shows you how to do this. So if you still want to know how to do this as well, you can watch that video and it shows you how to install this to change your TDP and also how to install SteamOS off from scratch, right? So if you like what I'm posting, like my videos, can you please hit that like button for me? Sub to channel for more awesome content, guys, and also share this video to your friends, family member, and anyone you know that needs to know how to do this, right? Thank you for that as well. So let me just get into it real quick. The first thing I want you guys to do you want to press the settings button so now if you just install steam and you don't have your buttons working just got to press that button to bring it up right you just go down you go to settings go to system and then you want to enable developer mode right right here enable developer mode once you get that done go back you want to scroll all the way down to developer then you scroll down to show advanced update channels Turn it on, then you go back, and then you go back to settings. And you come here, now you see SteamOS 3.7.3 preview release, right? So as it shows right here, shows you everything that comes with this. Brings control support, and also the sleep wake functionality that I was telling you about, right? Next thing too, this is the same step for the Legion Go. If you're trying to update your Steam OS to the new preview version, same step, guys. All right, so now you come down and you want to change the OS update channel. You want to change this to preview. Then you come down and Steam client update channel. You want to change that to Steam Deck Beta. And it's going to tell you to restart. Then it's hit restart, and then you're good, guys. And right now, it's just going to update your system. It gives you all the necessary stuff you need, guys. So let it do its thing. Give it a second. And wait till it boot back up. All right, so now when you're back up and running again, you go back into settings. At this point, if you just install Steam OS on your system, on your Legion Go or your Rogue Ally or your Rogue Ally X, your buttons sh will not be working. You know what I'm saying? Now, unless you had it before and you did the coding, in the kernel to get it up and running you, you will be using your fingers to do this right so now you go back to settings go to system check for update and see now it's still available here so now you just gotta hit apply and let it apply to your system update your system guys all right so now just gotta restart And when it boot back up, your controllers might not be working for a little bit, maybe like one, two minutes, but give it a few seconds guys, and then it will be up and running in no time. All right, so now you can see it's not working. Saying Steam right here, when this changed to, to the Xbox logo, then you'll be good. So let's give it a few seconds. Let us do a thing in the background, and then you should be up and running in no time, guys. Should be like one to two to three minutes, depending on what's going on. So just wait a few seconds, guys. Put it down, put your system down. Go get a drink or something, and then you should be good once you come back.
All right, so now that you see the Xbox logo comes up, it took about four minutes. It took about four minutes for it to start working. So now everything up and running, guys, as you can see. What's that? You get your menu right here. What's this? You get your flyer menu right here as well. Let me go into settings. Controller. Let's do a test real quick. Yep, that works. This works. Trigger works. B works. Y work. X. A. Left work. Up work. Right. Down. This work. As you can see, showing at the the PlayStation button in the middle. This works. This works. This is not showing, but it's actually working because I'm guessing there's no configuration on the control for that. But as you can show, see before when I was in the menu, let's exit and press it. It does work. See it? Right. Next thing is um, TDP is still not here. So I'm guessing probably next update, they'll put out the TDP where you can control your TDP. So as I said before, you still have to download Deki and this is it right here. Control your wattage, TDP, minimum, maximum TDP and everything that's in here. And also for your U, this is for RBG lights around your thumbsticks. And yeah, that's basically it. So up and running guys. And let me just go back to system real quick. See if there's any updates. No, there's no update. So we're on the latest preview version for steam os 3.7.3 and then amd z1 extreme ram and everything showing the hair right guys so yeah that's basically it guys um as i said before same process for the legion go if you're trying to update your steam os to the new preview version and you don't have to do the tink, no more tinkering to get your controller up and running once you install Steam. Just gotta come in here, do what I just did, and then give it like five minutes, guys, and then your controller and everything will be working. You just have to install um, Simple TDP to get your TDP up and running, guys. And that's basically it. Thanks for tuning guys, and if you like what I'm posting, hit that like button. Sub to channel for awesome content, guys. And if you want to learn how to install Steam on your device, I'll put the link in the description box down below, guys. You can tune in, see what's going on. And remember what I always say, health is wealth, peace and love. I'm out, guys.